This video is an excerpt from The Passive Income Show, presented live every week. To learn more about The Passive Income Show, just go to the description box below this video. Here's a new question. I've heard very strict guidelines at Udemy for them to accept the course material. Is that true? Well, the guidelines for course, uh, course approval are pretty simple. They have to be high quality HD video, 720p, high quality audio, and they and then they have guidelines like you have to have five sections in each in a course, at least one lecture per section, you know, some simple stuff like that. But so the guidelines are really about the quality of your video and audio. They're not about the quality of your teaching. They let the review yeah. process, in other words, when students review your course, they let that determine whether your teaching is good or not. They don't. They don't judge your teaching. They don't say, uh, "Oh, you're, you know, you're you ramble too much, so we're not going to improve your course." They don't do that. I think the thing is too to keep in mind is that Udemy has regulations or rules like this to make sure that your course is an enjoyable experience for students, right. especially in a world where we're living with HD video and high quality audio. Udemy doesn't want to have a platform where there's bad video, bad audio, and then someone can go to YouTube and find free videos that are way better quality. And there are going to be free videos that are way better on sure. YouTube anyways, but it's for your own good to learn how to do video the right way, the quote unquote right way, at least like HD quality, decent lighting, being able to see your face, or if you're just doing screencasting or slide based courses, make sure it's not fuzzy or pixelated or anything like that and that people can hear you clear. And so think of the restrictions as beneficial to you. And off of Udemy, you don't have those restrictions, but uh, your students will enjoy your courses more if you do have the higher quality audio. And I had a funny thing happen on my latest course. Uh, I submitted my course. I figured there'd be no problem. I've had you know, almost all my courses have gone through with no problem, right? And, and all my courses are primarily screen share courses. Uh, partly PowerPoint, partly I'm demonstrating something on the internet or on a website or whatever. So very little face to camera um, on, on my courses. I do have some that, that have that, but, uh, and the reviewer came back and said, uh, lecture number two is not HD 720 pixels. And I'm like, what? They were all recorded the same exact yeah. way that I've recorded 41 other courses using the same software, using the same screen share software, using the same mic, everything's the same, right? And he said, lecture number two, you know, it's not not the right quality. So I'm like, what, really? And I, did, what? I didn't really understand the, um, the, the, the person's English was either. So I, I, I said, wait a minute, is he saying everything except number two is, is, needs to be redone? And then uh, after I clarified with him, he said, no, number two needs to be re redone. So I, I just, all right, whatever, I'll just re-record it. Because it was, it was one lecture, it was maybe a six minute lecture. I just re-recorded it, uh, submitted it, and they approved it. And I was like, that's weird. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah, I don't know. Some, sometimes the, the Udemy standards, everyone needs to get on the same page because I'll get a yeah. reviewer who is very picky about something that I've never heard about before. Right. And yeah, so that's so the funny point, though. The point that I wanna make though is uh, too many times we, we um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We listen to authority a little too much. Like we, we figure, okay, they're the reviewer, they must know, but it's okay to question them. It's okay to ask them questions, find out, have them clarify for you. And it's also okay to push if you believe, you know, you're in the right. Um, there was, uh, I'm trying to remember another situation where I pushed a little, I nudged a little and, oh yeah, it was a live, uh, a live speech that I did with a co-instructor. This co-instructor did a live presentation. It was about getting out of debt and improving your finances. And he'd had this amazing presentation done at a church HD video, top quality. They had everything set up, you know, lighting and everything great. And 
I had to kind of go back and forth with the reviewer about the quality of the video only because there was a black background and with a black background, you know, especially if it's shot at a distance, it, it might look like it's pixelated or whatever in the background. And just went back and forth. I said, look, there's no way we could re-record this. It is an HD video. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what can we do? I, I think I'm going to have, I said, I said, I think I'm going to have to publish this on teachable.com or something like that. <laughs> and after I said that, they approved. <laughs> so don't be afraid. The, the moral of the story is don't be afraid to push a little and to, you know, ask for your way or to nudge. Because frankly, I think a lot of these Udemy reviewers are, they're outsourced people. I don't think, you know, they each have kind of their own idea of what their job is to do. Um, and, and if you, especially if you've got a few courses under your belt, you can push a little and you can get your way. And, and I'm not saying in a bad way, like be arrogant and that kind of thing. I'm just saying, Hey, if you know, you're in the right, man, you can, you can play hardball with Udemy, right? Yeah, like John is saying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's my next course, how to play hardball with Udemy. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be a good one. I'm sure a lot of people in the studio group would <laughs> enjoy that one. <laughs> <laughs> I've always thought it would be cool to make a a comic a, a funny course, you know, like a like a spoof of a Udemy course, but yeah, do all the wrong funny. things and do it yeah. really really horribly and do it on purpose, it, like almost like doing a TV show, but but a comedy course. Uh, yeah, anyway, I like I'm that. not qualified to do that. But. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on this video. This video was actually an excerpt from the Passive Income Show, which is a live show that we do every week. You'll get details about the Passive Income Show down below in the description box. You'll also get links to specific courses and discounted links that you can only get here on YouTube. So as always, we would love for you to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel because we're gonna be uploading tons of valuable content valuable video to help you make a passive income online. How? By teaching what you know through your skills, your experience, and your expertise, things that you're interested in like hobbies or interests. We're going to show you how to take that information that you already know and turn it into online courses that will pay you on an ongoing basis month after month after month for just teaching what you already know. So I look forward to seeing you on another video and I look forward especially to seeing you on our live passive income show.